Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Sunday, August 18, 2019, and believe me, I would not be out here doing two videos over a weekend if this were not important, and it is important. Um, most of you who follow this vlog have a clear understanding of the, frankly, uh, unprecedented action that we've seen in the debt market over the past couple of weeks. And uh, it's it's about to get, I think, uh, even more, I don't even know a word for it, um, supernatural. And, and, and I mean that. Let's talk about it real quick. So let's back up over the past several weeks. Um, what have we been witnessing? A couple of uh, events that were very eye-opening. As a matter of fact, one was historic. For the first time since the um, meltdown uh, that that started with the yield curve inversion in 2007, uh, we got yet yeah, another 210 inversion, first time again since 2007. We also got, for the first time in history, a 30-year yielding less than 2%. Now, understand, moves in the bond market like this do raise eyebrows. Generally, the bond market doesn't uh, have this kind of volatility uh, and that's one of the reasons why you see uh, the safety trade you know cash rushing into the debt market um, in times of, of turmoil you don't you don't see it but so it is unusual it's kind of like a preferred stock I don't know how many of you even know what a preferred stock is uh, preferred stock doesn't react as dramatically as common stock uh, anyway I'm not even gonna get into that um, but what we're witnessing now, status post, what, what started on Wednesday as played out till right now is almost nothing short of supernatural. And um, I want to explain to you what that means for the stock market, what that means for precious metals, what that means for cryptocurrencies, because I'm getting bombarded. And I mean bombarded. Uh, hundreds upon hundreds of questions in my email box uh, regarding the action that we're seeing in the stock market in the video that I did yesterday. Now let me just cover that real quick. Um, I said yesterday, in fact the title of that video was We Just Lost the Trade War. Now look, I sincerely believe that, and it's kind of, it's kind of a crazy set of dynamics that are in play here. Two times in one week, we've witnessed concessions to China with regard to the trade war. I understand, and a lot of you think I don't understand, that it's, you know, this is a game of, uh, of give and take. Yeah, I've got that. This seems to be the consensus with those of you that are, are, are standing opposed to what I'm trying to explain, and you're entitled to your opinion. But, so we've made concessions twice uh, in, in one week to China. You know what, China has conceded absolutely nothing, zero, <clears throat> and they're still threatening to retaliate on the remaining 10% uh, on, on the goods that President Trump is putting tariffs on. So yeah, it is a game of give and take. I got that, but it's bigger than that. It's not just a matter of uh, a give and take game in the trade war. The president does not want the stock market to drop. It's so clear, it should, and I'm going to outline some of that here, and again, put a... Uh, a perspective on gold and silver and crypto too. But understand, there is no way possible, and I've covered this at length repeatedly, and this must be, be for people who don't follow my blog. You cannot win a trade war, the president cannot win a trade war if he will not allow the stock market to take a hit. Can't happen. So the concessions are going to continue. We're going to end up, some kind of a deal I guess will eventually happen, but not, not a deal anywhere near what we could have gotten if the president would allow the stock market to simply bleed off a little bit. He can't, he has an obsession with this stock market that is actually frightening. I don't know how many of you caught this, and I posted it on every single one of my social networks. The president said that we have to vote for him or the stock market will crash. Look it up for yourself. Please don't take my word for anything if you don't believe it. Uh, it's posted on my Facebook page, my Twitter feed, LinkedIn, everywhere. People are talking about it. I mean, it's kind of like a threat. The president understands the stock market is in a big, fat, ugly bubble, like he said during the campaign. But he won't allow the market to fall, which means we cannot win 
a trade war. It's a no-brainer. And you see, here's the deal. People throw ideas out here who are not stock market guys at all. They don't understand the dynamics of the market. They don't understand the dynamics of currency, the, how the central banking system works. And they say, you know what? I'm Joe Plummer, but I'm going to throw out what I think is going on here. Yeah, you can think all you want, but unless you have an, an enormous amount of understanding of this market, unless you study this market around the clock like I do, your opinion is like uh, you know something that we all possess. It doesn't mean a damn thing uh, moving forward if you get my drift. But the fact of the matter is pretty simple. We have just witnessed something and we're seeing it right now. And I want to show this to you. Let me show you what the yield curve looks like right now from the two moving forward. Again, recently we had an inversion between the two and the ten. Look how that has normalized just since Friday. I mean, that is incredible. Uh, so no inversion here, and the 30-year, nicely above two. How did that happen? Fear, an enormous amount of fear was just ripped out of this stock market. Okay, how did that happen? It started on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we, uh, we had an 800-point drop in the Dow Jones Industrial Average that day. The president, I mean, this is widely reported, and don't take my damn word for it. The president got on the phone with the same six Wall Street banks that run the Fed. You think that's a coincidence? Do you think it's also a coincidence that the following day, that Thursday evening, a rumor was floated out that the Federal Reserve was going to inject stimulus into the economy? Do you, into the markets, do you think that just happened by accident? Please tell me you weren't born yesterday, honestly. Okay, so that alone, those two events alone, started the normalization in the yield curve. Also pushed a lot of cash into the stock market. We had a nice rally on Wall Street. Okay, then after the market closes on Friday, with no fanfare, really none, it's, it's incredible. We find out, and I posted links to this all over the place too, so don't ask me to put it in this blog. Find it for yourself. Seriously, do a little work. Um, the president made more concessions to China the second time in a week, uh, removing tariffs from multiples of products that we import from China. The trade war has become a mockery. I understand that um, the mechanism here is very simple. It's to normalize that yield curve that I just showed you, to cause cash to leave the debt market and make its way back into the stock market, pushing stocks higher. The events that occurred from Wednesday, which began with the president calling the same six banks that run the Fed, the rumor on Thursday, the removal of tariffs Friday, no fanfare. I mean, I can't tell you how stock market positive this is. However, it is, for the short run, negative for gold, negative for silver. But again, let them play their damn game. If they're going to do it, look, it's, why is it negative? Because it's risk on. It's risk on again. And, and it just goes right back to what I said. We lose the trade war. We've lost unless the president is willing to allow the market to take a hit and he won't do it. China knows this. Are you kidding me? These guys are smarter than me, probably smarter than most people. They get teams of people together and they figure out how they're going to strategize against this whole thing. They've been riding this wave and laughing and holding the carrot in front of the, the president's face for how long? Two years almost now? Oh yeah, trade deal's going well, talks are going good. Oh no, no, not so good. Yeah, going good again. Oh no, not so good. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. He's a puppet. We have a puppet in the White House and it's, 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 it's a joke. The joke is on you and me. It's insane. Um, look, the fraud being committed here at the highest level of office with in collusion with the 16 banks that run the Fed and these fake rumors that, no, it's not fake. The rumors that are being floated out here about more stimulus, which is coming, you know that. A series of rate cuts are coming. Massive amounts of stimulus in the form of QE, which they're not going to call QE, is coming down quick. We all know this. You've got to be brain dead, completely brain dead, uh, <laughs> to not realize that this is where we're going here. And every world leader is playing the same, same game, sucking us all down into a debt vortex that is inescapable because they don't know another way. Not one of them is smart enough to just realize for the benefit of the people of the United States and the benefit of the people of the world, one of them has to take the opposite side of this trade. President Trump should be telling the Fed to raise rates here, not cut. 
It's unbelievable. But this is the environment we are in. It's an environment of stupidity of the highest order. It's unbelievable. And collusion and fraud. It makes me want to vomit. Let's talk about cryptocurrencies real quick. I think this has potential here, again, because it's risk on, to cause this, a temporary dip in cryptocurrencies. Let me explain this to you in my view, because I get this question all the time. Cryptocurrencies and precious metals are not trades. These are long-term holds. You want to trade these things, be my guest. You'll probably lose. Uh, the, with regard to precious metals, there is no price discovery whatsoever. The market is completely fake. How can it be real if the hard asset derives value from the derivative? Have you ever heard of such a thing in your entire life? No. It's completely upside down. And the fact that Wall Street has their ugly, disgusting hands on Bitcoin futures, do you think that this is a real market? Of course it's not. It's fake too. So in my view, gold, silver, Platinum, Palladio, and cryptocurrencies are long-term holds. They're not trades. Trade them all you want, and you'll let me know how you're doing. You're probably losing. It's the truth. You can't trade. The, I don't trade these things, and I, I consider myself seriously at the upper echelon of, of a trader here. Uh, I make an extremely good living. <laughs> Debt-free you know, I don't owe a dime to anybody and off money from trading. So, you know, how many people can say they do that? Not, not too many. It's the truth. So I know what I'm talking about. With regard to the Fed, anyone wants to take the opposite side of the trade from me, good for you. Uh, I have the best track record of calling the Federal Reserve than anybody in the world. Look it up. No one's better than me. I have been wrong one time since uh, the Federal Reserve started. Uh, QE1, QE2 operations which started, started uh, running, uh, normalizing their balance sheet, which isn't happening. No one's better than me when it comes to it. Look, and I'm not sitting here tooting my horn, but maybe I am. Find me a guy, one, that's better than me with regard to calling the Fed. So I'm explaining to you how this is going to work, not from some ob obscure point of view. Uh, this is all I do. I am a market guy. And I don't think there's a guy out here who's called this market better than me, who's called the Fed better than me, period, the end. Since the election of Donald Trump, for which I said stocks would vault higher when he was elected, the day when everyone else said that the market was going to crash, I laughed. I laughed. I called your friend in mind, Greg Hunter, and said this market's going to vault higher. Greg Hunter was like, wow, you really think so? I was like, yeah. And boom, did I nail that one to the wall? <laughs> it's just too sick, I tell you. It really is. Look. Uh, I wrote an article on a lot of this uh, with a nice snapshot, if you want to look at it, of what's going on here in the debt market. I will place a link to that article in the description of this video. I would strongly suggest and appreciate, uh, if you're on my team, you share this video, you share that article, get it out here. Um, more people need to understand the, the absolute fraud, corruption, and frank, you know, in our face, total well, you fill in the blank that is going on right now. It's like uh, nothing that we've ever seen before, but we can take advantage of it. Again, how? Hold gold. Hold silver. Hold cryptocurrencies. You understand? These are not trades in my... Look, if you want to trade them, like I said, do, do be my guest. You're probably not going to do well. If you hold these things for the longer haul, you will benefit, there's no doubt in my view, based in dollars. Dollars that are going to be evaporated as a race to the bottom gets progressively worse. World Central Banks, all of them, colluding with Wall Street Banks and the President of the United States, have no choice but to inflate. And the, the calls for more of it is going to happen. I mean, it's going to get louder and louder. Uh, watch that yield curve normalizing right now. Is it going to continue... That way, well, we'll see. As long as we get uh, more calls from the president to not just, not just cut rates, but for more quantitative easing, he said it months ago that he wants it. You think it's not coming? You need to have your head examined. All of the world's central banks and their respective leaders, who are all brain-dead imbeciles, uh, fraud masters of the highest order, they're all going to do the same thing, and the war is against you and against me as more cash is shoved into markets around the world enriching the one percent that's all this is period the end it's insane it absolutely is and i'm sorry i'm getting upset but i think all of you have a very good handle on what's happening here it's just it's too much 
You want to beat this market? You want to beat this market to death and make more money than you possibly ever dreamed of? Learn to trade it. Uh, this is the gift that keeps on giving seriously. And everything you need to do it is right on my website, and it's all 100% free. Who else does that? Look, my motto since how many years? Since is I don't know how long, since my whole life really, is we are responsible for each other, people. We need to make a difference in the world. We really do, and it's got to begin with us. If it's not, then start with you and me. Who's it start with? So start caring about each other, loving each other, being charitable. And again, spread the truth. Get it out here. And when you see a YouTube blogger or anything on the mainstream channel that is completely contrary to what you know to be true, call it out. Call it out. Seriously. I'm out of here. Again, please share this stuff. Check out that article. Uh, link in the description of this video. I'm counting on all of you. I love you all, and I will be here for you. I promise. There's no doubt about it. More than ever, as far as I'm concerned. See you tomorrow.